Good morning. Foreign Fat Girl here. Um, just going to make some oatmeal for me and the kids. I decided I wanted some apple cinnamon oatmeal, but not the stuff that comes in the packets. So I'm going to use 100% whole grain quick oats. I have taken a Granny Smith apple. I peeled it. I sliced it into little little strips and then into cubes. So I've got my pan here on medium heat he heating up. I've got nothing in it. No, it's just a nonstick pan. So I'm gonna put my apples in there. Get my squats in today. Um, got my apples in there. I'm going to put some cinnamon. Just a little bit of cinnamon. And then I'm just going to take my spoon and mix them up so I kind of get the cinnamon on there. I just want to warm them up a little bit before I put them in the oatmeal. Get that cinnamon coating on them. You can see here. Like. Just like that. Just a little bit more. See, if you put oil and stuff, it gets all crazy, but being dry, the cinnamon will actually just stick to the apples. And the natural sweetness of the apples will keep you from having to put a bunch of sugar in your oatmeal. You can still get the apple cinnamon flavor. Um, I'm going to try to do this in one pan. It's kind of a new experiment to do it in a skillet, but um, I'm going to let those get warm for a second, and then I'm going to look and see here. All right, it says servings. A serving is a half a cup of dry oats, and that is 150 calories. This whole apple is 50 calories. Um, so for one serving, I'm actually going to make three servings with this one apple. So we're looking at a, a dish that's going to be about 200 calories. I'm learning to put things in reach so that I can measure out and do this a little bit more efficiently. Or right, to have my half cup measure. Um, these apples are starting to get a little bit soft. But they're going to cook in the oatmeal, so I don't want them to be too cooked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my oats to the pan. One. Two. Three for three of us. Now the kids won't eat that much, but I'll have leftovers and I'll put them in the freezer um, and it'll be great. So there's my apples and cinnamon with the oatmeal. Now I need to add um, my water and that's going to be one cup. So I need three cups of water. Okay, I'm actually adding my third cup of water now. <clears throat> I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing really stuck to the bottom. Like I said, I've got this over about medium heat. Um, so this is what it looks like now. You can see the apples are in there. The cinnamon is sticking to the apples. It's really great. It'll help infuse the flavor. Um, and now it says to boil. Let's see. I'm going to bring it to a boil. And then I'm going to let it cook. I like my oatmeal cooked through. A lot of people like it runny. I like mine kind of firm. So I'll end up cooking mine a lot longer than most people will. Uh, but we're just going to let this sit. I am going to add a little bit more cinnamon now that there's water and oats in there. Um, cinnamon's really good for you. It has a lot of health benefits. All you got to do is go Google the health benefits of cinnamon and you will see that there are lots of benefits if you can get about a tablespoon in a day. The other thing that I'm going to add to my oatmeal <clears throat> when it's done cooking is some ground flax. I try to get at least one or two tablespoons in a day. Um, it has a lot of really great health benefits if used over time in your regular diet. Doing it for a week or two is beneficial in helping clean out your digestive tract, but beyond that, you don't really reap the benefits of the flaxseed until you have incorporated it into your everyday life. Okay, now look, we've already got some boiling going on, so I'm going to let it boil for about a minute, but I'm going to turn the heat down on medium, medium low, and then I'm just going to put a lid on it, and I'm going to let this simmer. I want it to cook the apples. I want it to cook the oatmeal. I want to keep the steam in so that it keeps all the flavor and it doesn't dry out too fast or burn. And I'm going to turn that down to low. Um, and I will be back. This is going to be a time lapse of about five minutes. 
while the oatmeal's cooking in the back, which I just stirred it, it's been about a minute and a half, and I stirred it with my spoon, make sure nothing's sticking on the bottom, and it's starting to absorb the liquid. And I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more sweetness without having to add regular sugar, so we're going to use natural sugars. I'm going to dice up some strawberries. I always keep the tops and give them to my rabbit. <laughs> he loves them. He gets all excited when I start doing strawberries, because he knows he gets to have the tops. So, um, let's see how I want to cut these. I'm going to cut them long ways. Be careful when you use a knife. Watch what you're doing. Don't cut yourself. It's really silly to do so. You guys can sit right here in the strawberry basket. You don't know it, but you're in the strawberry basket. Sorry for the technical difficulties. I'm getting there. And I'm getting some really good squats in the process. Okay, so I'm just cutting up little diced strawberry so that I can add that to my oatmeal right when it's about done. I love strawberry and apples together. So good, especially when they're Granny Smith and they have the tart and the strawberries are sweet. It's a really nice combination. All right, so there's my little rough chopped strawberries. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, people talk about, oh, it has to look beautiful, but you'd be amazed how many things you can make look beautiful without them being perfect. Now look, here's our oatmeal. It's coming up nicely. It's almost done. You see that? How it's absorbed all the water. The apples are nice and tender. Now we can finish with our little bit of extra cinnamon. Going to add my strawberries. And what will happen is the strawberries will leak some of the, you know, as they warm up, they will add a, a natural sweetness to the oatmeal. Mm, that smells so good, y'all. I really wish that you could smell what I am smelling because it is amazing. So, there we go. It's going to be ready to serve in just a few minutes. All right, so the oatmeal is ready for the kids. So I put it in a little bowl for them, and it's really hot. So to make it kid-friendly and to um, increase the sweetness, I'm going to take a cup of applesauce, split it between the two, and mix it in. They love it that way. It gives it a little more sweetness, and it cools it down quickly. That's my kid tip for the day. And I guess grown-up tip for the day, too, if you are kind of on the fence, throw some applesauce in your oatmeal. It's delicious. Um, I actually made some fresh applesauce. I keep it frozen um, in portions and then pull it out as I need it. It's really, I had a huge batch of apples I got um, last year and made some fabulous, I say last year, but that was like, you know, six months ago. Okay, so this is our oatmeal. It's done. It's ready. If you want to top it with a sprinkle of honey, if you want to top it with a little bit of maple syrup, if you want to put just a little bit of something on it, feel free. You know, you can add your seasonings. That's okay. But I like the simplicity of the strawberries, the apples, and the cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Right on. So good. And you'll be amazed. Like, the more you cut the sugar out of your diet, how much more the sweet things taste sweet that are supposed to be sweet, and the stuff that's artificial just doesn't taste good anymore. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day, and enjoy your oatmeal.